cataractcoach.com. Should you amputate the haptic when you're trying to do an IOL exchange and it seems like it's just stuck to the capsule? Let's watch a case here. This patient had cataract surgery done previously and for whatever reason, an IOL exchange has to be done. So here's going under the rex's edge here with a blunt instrument to separate and create a space there. And then you can do a visco dissection. There's the visco elastic. And you want to separate the anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsule. And so now you can look at this lens. You know it's the, an Alcon design. It looks like the Acrosoft or maybe Clarion material. And we know these lenses have a bulbous tip at the end of the haptic. So again, doing the visco dissection here is important, but you really have to open up the capsule bag. What happens is the anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsule bag get fused together. So you want to spend your time really just dissecting this out here. And I've got good videos on cataractcoach.com that'll actually explain you how to do that and how to really separate it. But sometimes you just can't. And so let's take a look here, and you can see it's still attached. That haptic looks free except the tip. See, the tip of it is stuck to the capsule there. We don't want to break the capsule. We don't want to cause any zonulopathy here. So the question is, well, what can you do here? How do you dissect it more? I like more viscoelastic, maybe a little bit more blunt dissection, taking your time here. But again, sometimes you just can't free it up. Now, I'll show you what we're going to do in this case, which is going to be amputation. And if you want to learn about other really amazing cases, like a great learning experience, hey, remember, coming up very soon, this weekend is the Best of Cataract Coach course, this Saturday, April 6, 2024, at the ASCRS meeting at 8 a.m., nice and sharp. You better be there. We're going to have a great time. If you're going to the ASCRS meeting, you absolutely better come to that course. Now, again, here's more visco dissection. You can see that green looks like it's provisc. I tend to use a dispersive agent instead, like the viscoat. But you can see, you can free up the lens. The haptic is still stuck there. Both haptics are very much stuck at the edge, basically, of the haptic where it touches the lens capsule bag equator. So in this case, the surgeon is going to make the decision of amputation. You just cut it off. Now, obviously, we can leave the haptic in the capsule bag. I mean, look at all your routine cataract surgeries. They all have an optic plus two haptics in the capsule bag. So there's no harm in leaving it behind you do want to make sure that it's not going to be in the patient's visual axis there. So there's one haptic now cut, and you can cut it there at the haptic optic junction, but sometimes it's more helpful to cut it a little bit. Oh, look at that, now removed. All right. So in this case, you the surgeon was able to remove this. I'm watching the video for the first time with you, as you know. Now that would in, incline me to just try a little bit more to dissect this thing out here. Do a little bit more dissection. There you go. See if you can just free it up, because if you got the first one freed up, maybe you'll free up this one too. And so let's see, or maybe an amputation. Okay, micro scissors again, and an amputate. Maybe it'll be easier once you get the optic out of the eye, you can have a little more space or room to use a two-handed approach to try and get that last remaining haptic out. But here we go. Oh, look, oh, you see the capsule bag equator there, breaking design or support? Yeah, I would not do any more now. Did you see that? Go back and rewind it if you need to, but you could see the part of the capsule bag equator as that haptic was pulled. And that's telling me you're gonna have a risk of breaking the bag and or causing zonulopathy. I think there's already a little focal zonulopathy there. It's gonna be of no consequence, but you don't wanna cause any more zonulopathy. I can cut the lens in half, I would have done the twist and out, or you can also cut it 80, 90% of the way through, pull one half, the other half still kind of attached for a little bit, and then it'll come out too. So now let's see, where is that? There's that haptic. You don't want it rattling around inside the eye. Is it going to come out? Oh, trying, trying. But look, you're, you're pulling on the zonular support there. I don't think it's a good idea to yank this out anymore. So at this point, I agree. I would just amputate a little bit more and just leave it in the bag. It's okay. Now it'll be fine in the bag. Get your new lens in and you can finish up the case here. So sometimes you have to amputate and leave a haptic behind. And again, it's generally of no consequence. Did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? You know, I go to meetings and I meet people in person, and they've never been to the website. They haven't down. If you're a resident and you have not downloaded the free PDF book, well, what are you doing? Go to cataractcoach.com, check it out. Don't make me tell you again. Now, here's the new lens already in the capsule bag. That looks fantastic. There's that one extra haptic in the bag. Leave it alone. Notice how the surgeon ensured that the new IOL haptics are not interfering or touching the remaining haptic that was amputated. I think that's an important uh, point to make there. Here at the end, kind of washing out the viscoelastic. I'd maybe use the IA probe for that. 
And that looks like a good case. And you can see, obviously, the new lens being held beautifully by the existing capsule Rexus. So, yeah, if you do have an eyewall exchange coming up and you just can't separate out and free up the haptic, you know what? It's okay. Yeah, you can cut it and leave it there in the bag. And so some haptics are a little bit more challenging to remove than others. And again, if you have the situation, no big deal. Just amputate. Thanks for watching.